So I haven't updated on this page in a while. Um, also, I'm going to put this on my YouTube channel too and probably my Instagram. Um, as you can see, there's been a lack of couponing content on my social medias. And that's honestly, if I'm being frank with you guys, my heart just hasn't been in it. Um, I've been going through a lot. Like when I say I've been going through it, I mean I've been going through it. And um, some details I just don't feel comfortable sharing on the internet for everyone to, you know, listen to. I do have my limits when it comes to my privacy and I'm just gonna leave it at that. But uh, my heart just hasn't been in the couponing content and I honestly haven't even popped on my YouTube page or even scrolled YouTube in a while. <clears throat> so there's a few reasons for that. Uh, back in November, I got so sick um, that it landed me in the hospital. So with me being on chemotherapy, I am uh, immunocompromised. And I went into my first two rounds a little cocky, I think, thinking, oh, I'm young, it's fine, I'll wear a mask. No, <laughs> no, that's not how it works. So I've been really careful in terms of when I get out, who I get out with. Um, I have a few people that I will meet up with. And when I say a few people, I mean my brother, <laughs> his girlfriend, um, my parents, uh, my sister when she does come to town. And uh, next week I'm meeting with one of Sawyer's uh, friends and mom but it's going to be outside in a park and I've been meeting with the Girl Scout troop. So other than that, I really haven't gotten myself out to many places because we're trying to keep Gina well, obviously, because, uh, you know, chemotherapy and getting sick on chemotherapy is a big deal. But, um, I don't know. Uh, sometimes I go through these phases where my heart's just not into couponing and, a part of it has to do with where the economy's at, honestly. Um, when I go through the Target deals and Ibotta and stuff like that, I just have an immense amount of guilt posting deals about things that are not like necessities, if that makes any sense. Now, um, this is not in any means throwing any type of shade or like negativity towards any other couponing creator or deal creator or whatever, but... Um, I have a pretty good stock at home, so I really don't need to get out and go couponing currently for our personal family, but I don't know. There's just some deals where I just don't feel right sharing about them, like the beauty sets at Target, honestly, because I wouldn't buy those personally until they're like 75% off at the end of your clearance. So I wouldn't even jump on those buy one, get one 50% off, nor do I even give my kids teachers those because... You know, they don't want those. <laughs> they want gift cards or cash or lunch. Um, they don't want candles, socks, or beauty sets. That's just the truth. Um, so I'm also, behind the scenes, I've also been working on my uh, teaching credential application. So I'm applying to Concordia in Irvine <clears throat> for my teaching credential. And I just finished up two classes at a community college. I need four classes for... Uh, preschool teaching. So I've knocked out two. Um, I'm taking one in the spring and then I'll need to take one in the fall. And then I'm working on uh, taking the CBEST test so I can start subbing and, you know, getting my career in order because it was never the plan for me to be a stay at home mom for the rest of my life, nor was it the plan for me to be a content creator the rest of my life. Am I going to continue to create content? while there's social media platforms? Yes, of course. It's just my content might be shifting a little bit. So I'm more into uh, breast cancer advocacy, which will be a part of my life forever because that's, you know, it is what it is. And uh, I, ha I have to tell you guys about this story that happened to me yesterday. I've told a few friends about this and I'm still like shooken from it, like chills. Like it takes a lot for me to get chills from uh, inexperienced. So I had to go to a government office yesterday and I had an intense craving for matzo ball soup. So I asked one of my Jewish friends, where is the best Jewish deli around in town? So that's where I went. So I was on the counter reading the Britney Spears book, which is fantastic. By the way, if you guys have not read that, I highly recommend, um, 
I, I see Brittany in a whole other light after reading her book. And I'm sitting there and there's a girl that sits on the other end of the counter and I'm just reading my book, eating my lunch. And I look over at her and she says, I'm not staring at you. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. And then we uh, get to talking and she was there because her grandmother belongs to like an old lady club. That's what she called it, where they go out to lunch and they talk to each other, but her grandmother has dementia. So her grandmother needs like constant supervision. So we got to talking, uh, she's from LA, but then I had mentioned, oh yeah, I, um, was in the hospital last month and she's like, oh, I'm so sorry. And then I find out she had brain cancer. She had terminal brain cancer. So here we are two strangers at a diner and we both what cancer. So her hair was, is her mother's hair that her mom turned into a wig. And I just thought that was amazing. Me yesterday, I was just kind of sporting the, the headscarf look. Um, I really didn't want to fiddle with a wig yesterday particularly and uh we just got to talking and i kid you not her name is avery my daughter's name is avery so weird both have cancer or have had cancer her she's the same name as my daughter and both two strangers at a diner in the middle of the afternoon and i had only planned on staying there for maybe like another 15 minutes like i was ready to get going home but my plans changed once we started talking and I stayed there an extra good hour and literally laid out everything I had been going through the past month of just everything that I'm not going to get into detail on the internet. But, um, I told her everything, a perfect stranger in a diner, just telling her my whole freaking life story. And, uh, it was a wild experience. So I think, Prior to having cancer, I probably would have been really annoyed that someone was trying to talk to me because I used to be that person. I used to be that person, like when I was out and about, like, I don't want people bothering me. I don't want people talking to me. I'm notorious for throwing my shades on at school pickups so I don't have to look or talk to anyone. Like that used to be me, but it's not me anymore. You know, it just, it, it's just not. So I'm just a completely different person. So um, I don't really know where else I'm getting here other than I just wanted to check in. Um, my last AC rand is today. AC is the red devil. So I have been running around like crazy the past four days trying to get everything done, knowing I'm going to feel like shit for probably a week. So that's what Gina's been up to. I have been getting your guys' Christmas cards in the mail. They absolutely make my day. So thank you guys for sending me Christmas cards. I um, have a stack that I'm working on to reply back to you guys. I just got my Christmas cards in the mail. So if you've sent me a Christmas card, I'm going to try to send one back to you. Try being the, uh, the word here. I can't promise, but I can try. And yeah, so... I hope everyone is having a fantastic December and I hope you all have a great and happy holiday and I'm looking forward to what the new year brings.